In this video, I will explain you how to import data from two separate XML file uh, to uh, one product uh, using VP All Import plugin. WooCommerce, uh, we are importing da data to WooCommerce uh, to products, we will create products and website based on WordPress. So the idea of uh, what we will have to do, we have two separate XML files and, uh, for example, the same product that uh, is in this file and in this file, but uh, part of information is here, part of information is here. So what exactly we have? We have um, uh, the same uh, pro product code here and uh, here, so we are sure that uh, data correspond to each other. And after, in this file, we actually have the price for this uh, product and uh, we have some little description and a small image preview and in this file we have a full product description uh, with uh, some marketing information about it with some features about it that it's uh, which which kind of product it is uh, that it's ready to use that it's made from, from plastic uh, what is the weight of the parcel uh, and we have good quality images, big images inside of this file. So the idea is now to consolidate the data from both files into single product on WooCommerce. So let's dive into it. Uh, for this we will create two separate imports. First of all we, we will create uh, the import with the price and uh, product code here and after we will continue with uh, more information about the, the product uh, with, his, uh, with its uh, pictures, with marketing information, with features inside of the second import. Uh, let's check what we have inside of each of these imports. So, we have, uh, I, what I created, actually it's not necessarily, we can just, uh, just put at this level WIC information, it's product code, and uh, uh, I, I just chose like this, that uh, vendor name, it's uh, uh, the brand name, and group name that it's found accessories and uh, its pro product code. And after here, uh, I don't put anything here. I put SQU is the most important. Uh, this part will correspond to product code from another file, so they have to be exactly the same. Like this, the system will treat these two products, like uh, these two, uh, like when it creates the, uh, the entities, it will create like that. It's the same uh, price uh, from one. It will transport data from this file and from this file, and it's it knows that if SQU is the same, so it's the same product. After we put uh, a regular price from here, my price, and. Uh, well, just to show you some settings, I didn't, uh, I didn't touch them. Inventories, here we have uh, information about how many inventories are on this in our storage. We can put it here, for this we will have to choose that yes, we want to track the stock. And uh, shipping, uh, all the rest, I didn't touch it, I, I left it blank because I don't have information in this file. Images, at this level I don't uh, import because it's just image preview, so I leave it open, uh, blank. Uh, custom fields, uh, I just put like a test, the warranty information. And uh, uh, yes, we have uh, like 12, 12 months of warranty. Advanced uh, cast uh, here. I don't put anything uh, here. I don't put anything uh, And post slug I put uh, like uh, our product code and uh, Here I, I don't touch it uh, and uh, uh, Immediately we will check the settings of this import uh, so we put unique identifier again the same like uh, pro for product code uh, here we, we create new WooCommerce products or we update existing products because it's our first import so it has to actually create new products or update them. After uh, schedule option I didn't touch and uh, here uh, I import just 
product number nine out uh, from 6,000 products for a test reason. I, I chose product number nine to correspond to the product that I have in another file. So let's check now the second file. Uh, here we have information about the product. Here I put a full description of our product, pro product description, that uh, which bra brand it is, which model number, etc. Um, I put marketing info. Like here, there is a full paragraph about marketing info is here. And here I, I put some elements uh, from uh, some features. So basically, if you want uh, that each of this thing appears here, you have to put value and after it will take the value from here or this one, uh, you see, you, you have the list and after element one, two, three, and etc. And it has to collect the data from, from the value here, from, from this field, from value. Um, and uh, the thing is that in some products you will have two elements here. In some products you will have uh, 10 elements, in some products you will have 50 elements. So you create actually the maximum of it. You create up to 50 of them. And after the system will, uh, will, it will check how many there is here and it will create as many as it is, like two values or 10 values based uh, on how many we have here. For short description, I picked up uh, I picked up uh, pro, uh, this field, product description. This will be shown in Excerp. After here, again, SQU, that will correspond to the uh, WIC from previous file, product code. We, uh, it should be exactly the same. Otherwise, the system will create two separate products. After we, uh, the price, we leave it blank because we don't have information. Uh, manage stocks here. I don't manage any stock because there is no information in this file and actually uh, We can put some information about uh, product weight Here we have uh, product weight So I, I tried to put some information here and might be there are some other products where you have length widths, and height and you can put it here uh, Here we leave everything blank uh, like uh, not blank, but uh, we we don't touch it. Uh, I, I, me, I didn't touch it because I don't have any extra settings to change. For the images, I I have images here, and uh, I don't put it like from this side. I have to put each element inside, and each element corresponds to this line of code or this line of code. So we have to create again the maximum number of images possible in some files it will be just one image in some files it will be uh, 20 images so we create uh, up to uh, 10 20 or 30 images and uh, we just create a, a, a new and new and new li line items and uh, after the system will collect as uh, as many as necessary as, as many as we have in our file uh, after here I didn't touch the settings custom fields I didn't add any here I didn't I didn't change anything um, here for for the categories I created the category that it's a brand name uh, Apple and uh, subcategory that it's iPhone accessories so now we have like a way inside of our uh, we will have the way in our website that it's home page after products and after it will correspond to Apple and after it will uh, correspond to accessories like we will have some hierarchy of categories uh, here I didn't touch uh, and I created a post slug exactly like on the previous uh, uh, is from the previous file I also put a product code like this the system knows that it's the same one in function I didn't touch anything and uh, here we do now check the settings So for the settings, uh, here is the most important thing <laughs> again and again I say this, 
to to put this SQU that will correspond to the product code and like the system tricks. It's the same. And after we don't create new WooCommerce products, but we update existing pro, uh, WooCommerce products. So it will look for the same code and it, it will update with information that we put from uh, in the settings, in the, in the template. And after we can even decide which information we want to update. Is it the title? Is it the content? Is it the slug? What exactly you want to change or what exactly you want to, to keep the same from, from our previous import. So just for myself, I film what I put here. I put some custom fields, also regular price to update. And uh, here I didn't touch. And here I didn't touch neither because I, inside of this file I actually have just one XML, uh, one, one product. And after the idea is that you firstly run this file uh, and it will create the products with the price, with, uh, with their code, and after all the rest of information, uh, like you, you run the first import because we have a lot of uh, products. It can be uh, 1,000, uh, 2,000, 20,000 products. So we run this import and we keep uh, one hour, one hour and a half of a break. And after we, we start this import uh, and uh, this import will update existing pro products with information from this file. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, please write inside in the comments. And if you like the video, please put me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.